in this video i'll be going to explain e plane t where you can see this is e plane t where this is em and these are two wings of em so in this e plane t if we give input from here that input will get divided into this two output port but output at port 1 and port 2 that will be out of phase so that is how this e plane t functions so if we give input over here that is getting divided into this two port port 1 and port 2 and that will be out of phase and this em that is perfectly matched so reflection at this port ideally it will be zero so now let us try to understand how to have a scattering matrix of e plane t and how it functions so here we can see basic diagram of e plane t where this is e am let us say this is port 3 and this is port 1 and port 2 so e am is perfectly matched so input if input is given from e am output over port 1 and port 2 will be same but out of phase and reflection at port 3 ideally will be zero so here if i give input like this at output over this if it is in this direction with electric field then output at port 2 that will be in this direction this is port 3 or we can say em and this is port 1 and this is port 2 so output at port 1 and port 2 that will be out of phase and return loss at port 3 that will be zero so to have a derivation of scattering matrix let us consider this e plane t where e am is perfectly matched so here e am is perfectly matched so s33 that is zero input at port 3 then output at 1 and 2 is same and out of phase so we can say input at port 3 output at 1 is equals to negative of input at port 3 output at 2 so that is how it is there and to have a derivation of scattering matrix it we need to consider it follows symmetricity so as per symmetry city we can say sij is equals to sji so ultimately that is what resulting into s12 is equals to s21 s13 is equals to s31 s23 is equals to s32 now as per this we can say our scattering matrix that is getting reduced and now scattering matrix will be actually it is s11 s12 s13 s21 s22 s23 s31 s32 s33 and after applying this basic working of a e plane t that is getting changes to s11 s33 is 
S12, S21 is S12, so this is S12, is S22, S13, S31 is S13, S13 is minus S23, so this is minus S13, and S23 is S1, S32, so this is even minus S13. So that is how basic scattering matrix is there with this. Now to calculate values, we need to consider basic equations by multiplying rows and columns. So if we do operation R1, C1, in that case, that will result into equation S11 square plus S12 square plus S13 square is equals to 1. S per R2, C2, S12 square plus S22 square plus S13 square is equals to 1 and S per R3, C3, S13 square plus S13 square is equals to 1 and that results S13 value to be 1 by root 2. So if we place S13 value 1 by root 2 in these two equations, these equations will changes to S13 square is 1, 1 by 2. So S11 square plus S12 square is equals to half and S12 square plus S22 square is equals to half. Now as per this derived equation, here in this two equation S12 is common so we can say S11 is equals to S22. So from this two equation we can say S11 is equals to S22. Now for a calculation of this four parameter S11, S22 and S12 we can multiply one row and other row and that is what we can have based on uh, S11 into S13 plus S12 into minus S13 is equals to 0 and that will result S11 is equals to S12. So these equations are resulting into S11 is equals to S22 is equals to S12. So as per that we can say scattering matrix of this E plain T that is getting changes to scattering matrix is equals to half, 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 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 and 0. So this will be a scattering matrix of E plain T. So that is how E plain T functions. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. If any query is there please comment it below so that I can solve out those problems. Thank you so much for watching.